So, Modern Warfare 3 has been generally criticized, and I would say it has about mixed reviews right now, because on the one hand, you're getting 16 classic maps that are full of nostalgia and fun, but on the other hand, you're getting Modern Warfare 2 again. But that's about all the opinion I'm going to make for this video because today we are talking about performance, starting off with a GTX 960 and going all the way up to an RTX 4090. So let's get into it. The GTX 960 at 1080p with FSR on performance mode at the recommended settings ran with an average frame rate of 60 FPS, a 1% low of 46, and a 0.1% low of 10. So there was some stutter here and there, but the game actually ran quite well on this particular map. There was one map, however, that ran at about 30 FPS, so it's going to change depending on what map you're playing on. However, we were seeing playable frame rates. And it's a similar story to many of them where FSR comes in clutch and saves the day. Bumping up to a GTX 1060 at 1080p with the basic preset, we saw an average frame rate of 60, a 1% low of 45, and a 0.1% low of 38. So you're going to have no issues playing this game on a 1060 either. This is the 1066 gig. I don't know how it would run on a 3 gig version. But if you wanted to get a more solid 60 FPS, you could even drop the settings further down, or drop the resolution, or turn FSR on. But the 1066 gig is still hanging in there just barely. Up next, the GTX 1660 Super at 1080p with the balanced preset ran with an average frame rate of 72, a 1% low of 55, and a 0.1% low of 49. This is about the graphics card where I'd consider things to be ultimately playable because the balanced preset is like medium, you're running at full 1080p resolution, and you're getting above 60 FPS most of the time. So if you have a GTX 1660 Super or above, you'll be perfectly fine playing this game. And last but not least, the RTX 4090 at 4K with the extreme settings ran with an average frame rate of 144, a 1% low of 104, and a 0.1% low of 88. Obviously, it's going to run well on an RTX 4090, but it was using 10 gigs of memory, which means that to run the game at 4K extreme, you have to have a 10 gig card or better. But nonetheless, it ran very well. So that's four different graphics cards at four different price points for a little bit of a determination and for interpolation of what you're going to play on. So for instance, if you have a 1050 Ti, this game will be playable, but you'll need FSR. If you have a 2060, then you'll probably be able to run at above balanced settings at a higher resolution like 1440p. And if you have anything in the 30 or 40 series, you should be perfectly fine to play this game. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do what you usually do. And as always... Buy yourself something nice. Post Editing Fox here. Just want to let you know I have an eBay account. The account name is PCNerd02, PCNERD02, where you can buy graphics cards that I've tested. I also have a Discord in the description down below, as well as a Patreon. Thank you so much.